till now we have seen how to insert the products how to display that products and also we have used functions and using that functions we have seen how to display all these products and also we have worked on these brands and categories now when i click on swiggy whatever brand id i am having and inside the database whatever data is available for me that will be displayed and here for juices if i just click on this for this i don't have any data inside the database so here i'll be getting no stock for this category okay in our previous session we have seen how to do this one now in this we are going to see how to display all the products from the database now inside this home page i have just displayed this five data and also i have given the limit as 0,9 which means that in future if i insert 12 products then inside home page only nine products will be displayed i'll just show you what i am telling i'll just come to common functions dot php and inside this for getting all the products we have written this one we have given this limit 0,9 you can see we have given here 0,9 now if i just give here 0,2 i'll just save this one now if i refresh my home page you can see only two products will be displayed now if i click on brands based on that i am going to get the result but whenever i click on that but inside my home page only two products is being displayed because here i have given this limit 0,2 and each and every time it is going to generate the random product because we have used here random function as well now what happens in future i have given here nine so only nine products will be visible for me inside home page now, now whenever user wants to see whatever products are available inside my store then he can see all the list of products so for that we are going to create another function and we are going to list all the products without giving any limit now before that inside this home page now i'll just come to index.php now whenever i talk about index.php that will be root index.php i'll just close this admin index.php now inside this index.php let me just come up now for this home i'll just write here index.php now whenever i click on this home i should be redirected to same file i'll refresh this one now whenever i click on this home page i am redirected to index.php now wherever i am having this products instead of this i'll just create one file i'll be writing here display.php let me just write here display all.php now this file i am just going to create i'll copy this file name control b and inside this root inside root itself i'm just going to create that file display.php now inside this display.php i'll just copy this entire code from index.php control c and here i'm just going to paste that one exactly whatever i have written inside index.php i have just copied the entire code and i have pasted inside display all.php okay now we can create separate files for this and we can include that one but in this file we are going to do some changes so i am not including this index.php file but if you notice here we are having the same footer for each and everything inside index.php i am having the same footer and also inside display all dot i am having the same footer so inside this includes folder i am just going to create one file i'll just write here footer.php now inside this i'll just copy this entire code inside footer.php i am just going to paste that one okay i have just copied whatever i am having here i have just copied and i have pasted that one now instead of writing this one i'm just going to include footer here i'll just remove this i'll be writing one comment i'll just write here include footer below this i'll be writing this php php syntax i'll just close this one now here i'm just going to write include inside this i just have to pass the file path now here i'm just going to write single quotes or double quotes anything you can use i'll be writing here includes folder inside that i'm having footer.php footer.php i'll save this i'll come to index.php file i'll refresh this one now you can see footer is still available for me i have just included this one if i don't give this i'll just comment now if i refresh this one you can see the footer has gone what i have done i have just created another file inside includes folder footer.php and here inside index.php i have just included that one i'll just copy the same thing now each and every time i don't have to repeat the code i can just include this footer i'll come here i'll refresh this one now whenever i click on this products i am redirected to display all.php and inside this all the products is been displayed 
whatever is available for me inside home page that is been displayed to me and also the footer is been displayed now inside display.php now instead of getting this products we are going to create another function for displaying all the products without giving any limit now let me come to common functions now as of now for better understanding i'll just give here 0 comma 4 i'll save this i'll refresh this one i'll just come to home page now now when i click on this home now i am inside display all dot php now when i click on this home you can see i am redirected to index dot php file now inside this only four products is been displayed one two three and four totally four products i am having now here below this function itself we are having this get products function now below this function itself i am just going to create another function i will just write here getting all products below this i will just create one function i will just write here get all get all products inside this function i am just going to copy the entire same code ok i have not done any changes yet i am just going to copy this entire thing I will just copy this one and below this I am just going to paste. I will save this. Now if I refresh this one, now when I come to display all dot php, ok when I click on products I am redirected to display all dot php but still here also I am having this 0 comma 4 because inside display all dot php I have called this get products function. Now for this we have created get all products. I will just copy this function and inside display all dot php instead of writing here get products i'm just going to paste that one i'll write here semicolon i'll save this now inside this also i have given the limit as 0 comma 4 now if i just write here 0 comma 6 let me just write here 0 comma 3 because i'm having only five products now if i refresh this one you can see only three products has been displayed inside display all dot php but inside home page i'm having four products here because for get products I have given 0 comma 4 let me just come to common function 0 comma 4 so 4 products is been displayed for get all products I have given 0 comma 3 so only 3 products is been displayed but whenever I click on this products I have to list all the products so I am not going to give any limit here I will just remove this I will keep random function because whenever I click on products I should be getting the products in random order inside this function i have copied the entire same thing whatever we have written for this function and from here i have just removed the limit okay i don't want any limit i just want to display all the products whatever is available in my store i'll come here i'll refresh this one now inside okay on line 51 i have done something let me just come here on line 51 Okay, I have to close this one. Okay, double quotes I will just write here because here I have just opened and here I have to close. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now inside index.php I am having only 4 products. Now when I click on products, you can see all the 5 products has been displayed. I have not given any limit. So all the products whatever is available for me inside the database that will be displayed. If I am having 100 products, all the 100 products will be displayed inside this page. But inside home page only 4 products will be displayed because I have given the limit as 0 comma 4. Now let me just change the limit to 0 comma 9. In future I just want to display 9 products so I am just giving here 0 comma 9. I will come here. Now again let me just come to home page. Now if I refresh this one I will be having all the 5 products. I am having only 5 products because inside the database tables I have stored only 5 products. Now when I click on this products page display all dot php here also I will be having 5 products because inside the database only 5 products are available. Now suppose if I add 10 more products all the 15 products will be available here but inside home page only 9 products will be displayed. Ok this is the basic difference between the home page and the products page. Ok don't get confused we are writing the same code we have just removed the limit. Ok so you should always be careful whenever you are writing the code. We are done with this displaying products. Next we are going to work on this search. Whenever I write some keyword here and when I click on this search button only mango data should be displayed. Wherever I have given this keyword only that data should be displayed for me. Let me just show you the demo. Now inside search I will just write here apple. I will just click on search. Now wherever I have written this apple keyword that data will be displayed for me. Now if I just write here mango refresh you can see here i am having this mango and inside url you can see i am redirected to search product.php we are going to create this file now inside this we have searched for mango and we are having this search query 
okay we are going to see how to get this data everything we are going to see now we are going to see this one how to get this search query how to get this data you can see i have searched for mango and here i am having this query mango now if i just search for amazon i'll click on search in amazon i am not having anything you can see search data is amazon okay we are going to see using this keywords how to get that related data okay next we are going to work on this session